Yo, what's popular YouTube? It's your boy Elixir. Today, I'm just going to bring you all a live commentary. It's not actually like live commentary. I played this game in the background on my stream, which you can find down in the link below. But I'm just kind of doing a commentary over the top because, you know, <clears throat> there's something I really want to talk about. And maybe some of you guys have experienced it yourself, but imposter syndrome. So basically, imposter syndrome is just like when you basically own doubt your own self or your or your success or potential success or whatever and I guess in a way I've been dealing with that a lot lately and you know it's kind of ironic because all I ever wanted to do as a kid was do what I'm doing literally right now I remember growing up watching Call of Duty live commentaries like from White Boy 7th Street and other various YouTubers and all I ever wanted was to do exactly the same thing as them. I thought it was so cool. I thought it was such a unique job. I I, th I don't even think YouTuber was like a job title yet. That's how long ago. I've always wanted to do this. And now that I'm doing it, after getting out of the military, it doesn't, doesn't feel like I can make it, if that makes sense. Like, obviously, I know there's a lot of things that set me apart from someone else but it doesn't feel that way and doing it now it doesn't feel like it's real you know yeah I hit a thousand subscribers uh, I stream I've gotten a few checks from Twitch and things like that but it doesn't feel real if that m makes any type of sense and I think that's because I want to hold myself back. Something deep inside me is like self-sabotaging self me. And I have no idea what it could be. Maybe you've experienced this. Maybe you know someone that's like this. Maybe, you, or maybe you're like the spouse of someone. Like my wife sees so much potential with me in content creation. And she says like, you have so much ability. You're so good at it even when you're on stream etc and you know and sometimes I just think in the back of my head oh she's just telling me that because she loves me right but I do believe that she would tell me if this really wasn't working out that I need to go get a job you know so I do believe her to a point but the biggest question is is like why don't I believe in myself and I think a lot of it is because you know I look at my YouTube studio and you know numbers are down I was getting like thousands of views per video back before I even had a thousand subscribers and everything else and you know I was making a video every two weeks and they were pretty high quality but I want to be able to pump out content like every day and even if it's like a video like this where I'm just actually like just kind of sitting down and talking to you and maybe even giving you life advice like uh, granted I'm only 26 and you know but I do believe because I, I work mental health okay I work mental health in the Navy I was a corpsman in the Navy and more specifically I was a corpsman with a background in psychiatric I was a psychiatric technician and I worked with the Marine Corps to ensure that uh, Marines were mentally ready to deploy and when they came back, you know, they knew where they could get resources and everything else if that was needed. But it's so hard to look at the numbers, see what they were, and then keep and then find motivation, right? And that's where discipline comes into play. And that's a whole different video that I can make. And I'd love to make that for you guys. So if you guys are interested in if you guys are just interested in hearing me yap, give you guys life advice. Oh, oh, that's what I was talking about. Anyways, give you guys life advice because I think everyone, no matter what age, can give you some kind of life advice. Even kids, man. Kids see life in a different way. And sometimes they just say something and they just, you know, they, they make you snap back to reality. They're like, why am I stressing over this so much? Anyways, that's a whole different rant. But if you're into, you know, hearing my unfiltered thoughts on games that come out, like, and how they play, if they're worth your time, money, etc., then be sure to subscribe. If you want to support uh, a veteran and uh, just support me as a content creator, then be sure to check my Twitch and consider subscribing and even liking this video. 
And if you want to see more things like this, then again, subscribe and like the video and comment down below. But anyways, back to the imposter syndrome and, you know, tell, letting you know, like, yeah, I work with the Marines. I've talked to younger guys who have experienced way more things than I have ever in my life. And they offered me a different perspective and actually taught me something. And I've done the same for older guys like that have been in the military for a long time. And still, they've seen way more things than I have. But because I have a different experience in life, I was able to offer them a different perspective. And sometimes all you need is a different perspective to keep pushing forward, which kind of brings me to my other point. You know, YouTube isn't YouTube now is completely different than what it was when I was growing up, you know, and because I want to make this my career, I think that I, all I'm thinking about is the numbers when in reality, that's not what it should be it should be about the fun that i'm having because if i'm having genuine fun then people are going to find they're going to feel that uh what's it what's the word i'm looking for man the uh the genuineness whatever they're going to feel the gen the the genuineness thank you thank you brain for finally working the genuineness of the fun that I'm having and what I'm saying and things like that. But I think, I think what I'm so afraid of is one is rejection, which is normal for a human. Uh, and not like, you know, just being like told on YouTube, like, no, no good, blah, 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 whatever. Two failing, right? Cause it's impossible to fail if you don't even try. Well, and I, then I guess technically in, different kind of philosophy you kind of failed because you didn't even try anyways that's a whole different thing we could talk about that at a different time i'm giving myself video ideas when i don't even need video ideas right now anyways and i just got to ignore these numbers have fun keep pushing be true to myself and kind of do that but and and this imposter syndrome has been holding me back man you know i just i want to make this work and i believe it can work i really do i really do believe that it can work because I do think that I have something unique to offer. You know, I, I, I've had people in my stream tell me like, Hey man, uh, your streams are awesome. Or like, uh, someone told me, you know, that they were in a really bad place and my wife and I stream shout out to my wife. If you want to watch her Twitch, I'll leave her link down below. She's super chill. Um, <clears throat> you know, they told us like, our streams have helped them be in a better mental state because they were going through stuff. And I'm not going to name specifically just in case somehow this video reaches someone that knows the person that I'm talking about. You know, just I want to keep everybody, keep everybody's business to themselves. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But anyways, I just have to believe in myself. And I don't know what it is that's holding me back from believing in myself, you know, because anything I've ever like really wanted to do, I've done it. Right. When I when I would join the military, <laughs> I'll tell you straight up, man, I got to boot camp that first day and I was like, holy shit. Am I really going to be able to do this? Is this really going to be me? Am I really going to be able to, you know, throw my body on top of someone to save their life? Because that's what I signed up to do. I signed up to be essentially a combat medic. That's what I've always wanted to do. I wanted to go in the medical field. I wanted to save lives and uh, do that. And I didn't get to do that um and i'm genuinely thankful for that because well okay I, I like i didn't get to go into combat let me be specific and i'm thankful for that because of the stories that i've heard from actual combat veterans it's like damn that's a it's just a different reality and i've worked with a lot of them and helped them a lot and you know i've seen i've seen some really good success stories from how they were to uh to who they are now and if you guys would like to hear some of those stories, then be sure to subscribe and like. I keep plugging myself, but hey, I guess that's part of me believing in myself to make it. Anyways, but yeah, so this imposter, imposter syndrome stuff that I've been dealing with, man, it's been years. And I mean literal years, right? Like I didn't think I'd graduate college. First one to do it in my family. My parents 
my biological father dropped out of uh, Yale and my mom dropped out of uh, Columbia. They didn't finish both Ivy League, and, but I graduated not from an Ivy League though. Uh, grade, I definitely didn't take school serious enough for that, but yeah, man, you know, and I, I, I guess my message is to you is like, if you don't believe in yourself, but someone else w does, you're doing a disservice to them by not believing in yourself. So what I mean by that is my wife believes in me deeply and I'm doing a disservice to her by not believing in myself. You, you get what I'm saying? And this imposter syndrome, it, for me, it runs real deep. I'm not sure what it is, but I, you know, I'm just going to keep uploading, keep pushing through it to make it happen and do all that. You know, I just, I just, I got to keep it pushing. I got to, I'm doing what I've always wanted to do from a kid. Grew up watching these people on YouTube. This is what exactly what I wanted to do as a kid. Now I'm doing it after getting out of the military and I'm holding myself back, self-sabotaging by putting off a, putting off a, uh, upload or here and there or whatever, and looking at numbers and thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to get past this point. That's not the truth because I know I can. And I guess in the, I guess the point of this video is more for me. Um, but maybe you guys learned something too, but basically, man, I just gotta, I just gotta do it. You know? <clears throat> it doesn't matter what it is. I just got to get it done. I hope this rambling kind of maybe, you know, helps you in some kind of way. Or maybe it doesn't. Either way, I hope it has some kind of value for you. Uh, I'm going to try and make more of these. You know, uh, I got another one. I'll make it tomorrow. I got one. I, I think life is pretty odd right now. And I'll talk about why tomorrow and upload that. Well, I got, well, today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. Um, but this is going to go up, this is going to go up, uh, the Black Friday, basically. And the other video, I guess, will go up on the Saturday. So, yeah. Anyways, the point being, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to help your boy out, be a content creator, um, and all that. Subscribe for Maple. I'm going to throw up a picture of her. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever dealt with self sabotage, imposter syndrome, or something of the sorts. And uh, let me know how you work through it. I'd love to hear how you guys work through it. But yeah, man, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.